channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Skye and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over here on YouTube we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. I'd love to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. We are actually going to be doing a coffee bar makeover in this video. We are adding some brick tile to the wall. We're knocking down cabinets, putting up some really pretty open shelving, adding some sconce lighting, and doing a little bit of decorating with some thrifted pieces that I recently purchased at the Depot Gibson Mill. So I am so excited to see this space come to life. Right now it's just kind of a dark hallway and I can't wait to just kind of transform it from just like an old and traditional butler's pantry into something that we're gonna use every single day because we love our coffee over here and it just was the perfect transition for our family. So I'm so excited to share all of that with y'all. I'll share some before footage and of course a little bit of the process in between and then the after. We'll create our labels with Cricut, we'll do some decorating, and it's just gonna be such a great video. I wanted to thank you for being here today and taking a little time out of your day to spend with us. Okay, so here is some footage of our butler's pantry slash coffee bar. I wanted to share this before we start knocking down cabinets and putting tile up on the wall just to give you an idea of what it looked like. You can tell that everything's kind of dark in that space. Um, it really is not lit very well. We have one light that is mounted up on the ceiling in this hallway and we wanted to add some more lighting. So we are going to be putting up two sconce lights on this uh, coffee bar wall above the open shelving just to brighten the space up. Um, you can tell that Chad's like got his flashlight with his drill trying to lighten the space up. Mind you, this is like the brightest time of the day in our home and you can tell that even with the brightness turned up on my camera it's pretty dark in here so now that we've got the cabinets taken down Chad is putting a cement backboard up that is going to go behind the tile and while this video is not a complete tutorial about doing a tile backsplash if you have any questions we would be more than happy to answer those for you down in the comments below we are not experts in fact this was actually Chad's first time doing tile on a vertical wall he's done floor tile before but this was something new for him and I have to say, as his wife, I am so proud of him for giving it a go. He did an amazing job and it seriously it turned out incredible. Okay friends, now we're gonna pull out my Cricut and we are gonna do a couple of little DIY projects for this coffee bar. So the Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with software called Design Space and that comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. The Cricut Explore 3 is so easy to set up and use and it allows DIYers and makers to get up and running with projects quickly. With Cricut Design Space on desktop and mobile, you can design and make from anywhere quickly and easily. 
So we are gonna start out today with some coffee jar labels. I am going to create some regular and decaf labels because we drink a mix of both each morning. And when that project is finished, we are going to create some really pretty art to go inside this frame and set up on our new open shelves. So I am in the Cricut design space. I'm gonna make sure that I have selected the correct machine up here in the upper right hand corner. And then I just hit new project. And we are gonna go down to the text option in the bottom left of the screen here. Once I click on that, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight it and type D calf then I am going to come up here and select the font that I'd like to use there are so many hundreds of different fonts that you can choose from I like the brown sugar font for this particular project so that is the one that I am going to select once I have selected my font, it takes just a moment and then it will change. There you go. And we will go ahead and change the text color to the um, white because that is going to be the color of permanent vinyl that I'll be using for this project today. Then I'm gonna change the size. So I have pre-measured my jars and I have landed on 3.5 inches long for my decaf label. Once you have sized your text appropriately, then you're gonna go ahead and click on the green button in the upper right hand corner that says make it. And at this point, it's gonna ask you if you are going to be using a mat or not. And we are not gonna be using a mat because I am using the Smart Permanent Vinyl for this project, which I love, by the way, it is amazing. And I also like to drag my text a little bit out from the corner just to allow for some buffer space as I am um, cutting it out, cutting the vinyl. Um, once the Cricut has done its thing. So now I've got the Cricut turned on. It is plugged into my computer and I have my little cutter here along with that smart vinyl. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a section off. I don't need a ton because I'm just doing a small word. And then it's going to ask us what the material is and that's where I chose the Smart Vinyl. So now that I've got that cut, I've got it loaded. As you can tell on the Cricut, it actually notifies you when you need to do the next step, which is so handy. Again, I think I've mentioned it, but it is seriously so incredibly user friendly. So now I am just cutting out the portion that says decaf, and I'm gonna go ahead and peel that top layer of the vinyl off. And this is gonna leave just the text behind. But there is one step that you almost always have to do here, especially if you have letters with um, a hole in them, like my D and my A here. I'm using my weeding tool, it is so simple. And you just pop those little areas out. Now I've got my transfer tape, and again, just cut a piece just large enough to cover my text. I put that over top, and then I am using this really cool tool to go ahead and scrape down over the text to make sure that it is adhering to my transfer tape. And once I have done that, as you can see here, it really pulls off very nicely. And if you get to a point, like you can tell at this point I was in, it's starting to stick just a little bit. So I just went in and scraped a little bit extra and that was enough to do the trick so that I was able to get that F to pull off nicely. And then we are just gonna go ahead and transfer it with our transfer tape to our jar. So I've just got it set where I'd like it placed on the jar. I'm gonna grab my scraper tool and um, just go ahead and get that 
really nice and secure and help those letters to adhere to the glass and then just gently pulling away that transfer tape and then we're done doesn't it look amazing this was such a quick and easy project and I love how that turned out so for the regular we're just gonna do the exact same process now moving on to my framed art I've got some cardstock and I bought this specific pack because it was all that was available that had an off-white and I really thought that would look a lot better in my frame than a stark white. I measured the opening of my frame and then I got my um, cardstock placed onto my grip pad. Then we came in here and this time we're doing this project in the images section and so I searched coffee you could search so many different things um, but specifically for my coffee bar I just wanted something really light and simple and something that was kind of classy to add into my gold frame so I went with this coffee first image and then we are going to choose if we're using a mat or not I am using a mat because I'm not using that smart vinyl I'm using my cardstock so I went ahead and sized it appropriately as you saw and I'm moving it just a little bit away from the edges. This is not a step that you have to do, it's just a personal preference. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on. We're gonna select cardstock as our base material and then it's going to tell us what we need. So we're going to need a marker for this. I have this Cricut Gold marker pen. It is um, just great. It matches my frame perfectly. I'm taking my little um, blade out because I don't need that. So the Cricut in Design Space prompted me to put my pen in spot A and they're labeled and you just make sure you get it pressed in all the way and then you're good to go. So I'm pushing the button here to go ahead and load my mat in. It's measuring my uh, cardstock and it's ready to go. So simple and it turned out so cute. I truly am always so amazed watching the Cricut work. It's just so talented and blows my mind and I'm so thankful because I don't have the best handwriting that I have a machine like the Cricut that can just whip up these projects so fast and they look like a professional did it. So there is my little coffee first art that I'm going to be putting into my frame here and all I did was just open the backing of my frame, pop that in and I did actually come back in um, a second time and add just a little bit of tape. I taped the art to the mat just to hold it in place so it wasn't sliding as I was moving it around and then I just put the back on and we were good to go. Cricut was so generous to offer a discount code for you all, which I'm gonna put on the screen here and down in my video description below. It's gonna give you 10% off of machine and material bundles through June 30th on Cricut.com. And I will have the link to the bundles that apply down in my video description. I wanted to give you guys a quick view of the before just as a refresher. I always love to see before and afters just side by side. And so um, I am just blown away by this transformation. It was such a dark kind of busy space and now it is nothing but bright and airy. Everything just feels so light in this space and I just love it. It feels elegant and classy. There's texture on the walls with the beautiful brick tile and then I love these natural wood corbels, the white shelves, and all of my dishes. So I have a mix of 
of some pieces that we've had for a long time, some things we've carried in our shop before, some things from Target and Ikea, and then a nice mix of some pieces that I found at our local antique shop in a recent thrifting adventure that I had while my parents were in town. I love this picture. So the picture, the Crocs, and everything was from that store as well as this teapot and the sweet little teacups that came along with it. I think that my Cricut projects fit perfectly in this space. I love that I am able to use my Cricut to do projects around my home and create things that were so incredibly affordable that I am going to enjoy for a long time to come. I also wanted to share that we did of course keep our cabinetry down below. Typically I love having tons and tons of cabinet space so I can understand how somebody might question why we knocked some cabinets down, but we have ample storage in this home and so we have a spot down here for our crock pot and our blender and extra coffee necessities and things like that so i'm able to really set out the mugs that we use every day and enjoy them while they're not in use and be able to have them styled out on my shelves Alrighty friends, that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to use this discount on the screen to get 10% off of Cricut Machine and Material Bundles through June 30th on Cricut.com. And I'm going to have that link down below for you guys to check out that shares the bundles that apply. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye friends.